Welcome to Steve Rob Reviews. Today we're going to have an interesting project and it's going to be all about solar, solar fans and ventilation. So I'm going to bring you over to the bench here. I'm going to show you what I got planned and uh, we'll start right now. Well this is the setup right here and you can see I've got my router, I got some glue, I got a uh, four inch uh, hole saw bit, some biscuits for a biscuit joiner. There's a biscuit joiner right there and here is the three fans and I got everything all mocked up and I even drew a picture where every biscuits gonna go and you can see there and you can see right there now this is just uh, PVC that I had left over from the project where I was doing some work on the outside of my garage and this is gonna go in my window up in Northern Ontario to provide ventilation for my uh, cabin so I'm going to take the air from outside and bring it in to reduce the amount of moisture that's in there because you used to have a cottage well you know from one year to the next well yeah you get a lot of moisture build up so I've got some screws I'm going to mount these in with and the first thing we got to do is we have to get the biscuit joiner Put the biscuits in. I'll show you how that's done. If you've never done that before, you might find that interesting. And glue it up. So let's start right now. Well, here's the setup right here. And I've got everything all ready to go. And for you that have never used a uh, biscuit joiner before, this is a biscuit. It's a size 20, so you just match it up to size 20. And since I'm working with 3 quarter inch uh, material, you just bring it up to 3 eighths and uh, that will make a slot right here, right in the middle. So let's get started. Okay, so it's as easy as just lining up this little red, well you maybe can't see the red marking here, but there's a slot in here, and of course here's my line, and you just push it up against like this. That's why you gotta have the material clamped down, and then you pull the trigger, and then push it into the material. And that's it. So I'll show you another one. Okay, so let's do one more. Just line it up like this. Pull the trigger. And that's it. Now you can't see it very much here, but you will after. There's a slot right here. So I'll finish doing all the rest and I'll bring you back. Well, let's see how this all turned out. So the whole idea behind actually using these biscuits is so that when you push your boards together like this when you're gluing them, well it's going to stay nice and flush, right? All the way along. So I mean, that's the whole idea behind it. And you know, before you glue them up. So this is the idea just like this. And then we glue it up. So I'll bring you back when it's ready to put together and I'll show you what it looks like before you actually put them together. So here we are here. All I did was just run a bead of glue all the way along both sides and use my brush and just kind of brush it in a bit. And here's the biscuits. So you just try and center them up the best you can. And just put them in here like this. And you'll see how it's going to go together in a second here. Now these are very forgiving, these biscuits. Like, I mean, this one here is off a little bit, but you'll see how it'll push it over. And the last one will go about here. Okay, so now you just get your uh, poly hammer, just like one of these, like this. Turn this upside down to match the other side and kind of line it up as best as you can, you know, so that's it about right there and now we just tap it in. Now the lines aren't perfectly straight right now but if I just put this straight up and down now I can knock this completely straight. So that's it right here and you can see how the glue's coming out just a bit there which is perfect. So what I'm going to do is let that dry and then I'll bring you back. Well there we go right there. 
it's all dried and all I've done is put it in these clamps you know I brought it in the house because it's too cold out here in the shop and you have to go and just uh, get a, a wet rag with some you know water on some hot water and just wipe the glue off as best you can and I've got to trim off the end right there but on the back side here you can see where the glue just kind of poured out and it's all dry now that's easy to take off and now we have to put it in a uh, little bit of a jig here and I'll just show you here there's just a couple of scrap pieces and here's another scrap so we're going to put the material here in here because you have to have some some support on the bottom when you're drilling through and this is an ideal thing here rather than just having it hollow underneath because remember this is this is only PVC you know it's not like a, a real hunk of wood and you need the extra support so let's start drilling them three holes out right now well all I've done is just put a pilot hole a 1 8 pilot hole in the spot where I got a drill and uh, it makes it so much easier so let's just go through here Now I will tell you that because this is PVC it does tend to bind up here a little bit because it overheats and kind of melts it as you're drilling in. So you just take your time it should be fine. There we go right there. So I'll finish drilling the rest out, I'll bring you back and I'll show you the next step. What you're looking at right there is the uh, 45 degree chamfer bit that I'm going to put on there and it's just going to put a nice round edge on all the uh, outside surfaces and there's a reason for this. So let's start doing that next and then I'll uh, show you the reason why when I put a fan on there. Okay let's get going here. Okay, so I'll finish putting the chamfer on all the rest of them, and then I'll bring you back. Well, let's just take a look. Now, I actually did go back and make the chamfer a little bit deeper, because I wanted it to, if you can just take a look in there, you can see how the fan tips are just on the outside of the edge here. So I didn't want that to be a hard line over here, so I wanted it to kind of, you know, get all the air and... You know capture it all now you can see that there is a little bit here difference in the width but uh, that'll work out fine and you can take a look there and see how much more of a chamfer it is than before and that was pretty easy and I did both sides so let's start attaching the fans next okay so all I'm doing here is I just lined up the fan and I matched the outside of the blades to the chamfer to kind of just line it up nice and I got the screws in there I mean, this is so soft, you just have to just tap it a bit and it'll leave an imprint. You probably can't see it, but I can leave an imprint there. And then we'll just pre-drill some small little pilot holes and then we'll tighten up the screws. But I'm going to put these little offset washers in first like this, just to have it sit a little off. There we go right there. The fans are all installed. And if you're wondering which direction is which well this would be on the inside like this and it will be pushing air inside so this will be on the outside and the reason why I've done it like this is you see where the cap of the fan is here if I had it on the outside here I'd have more 
intrusion from say the weather and you know have more access to the fan you know with snow or whether it's rain or anything so I figured I'd put them on the inside plus it's a lot more suction on this way like this instead of I would mount the fan on the other side so that's what I've decided to do there so that's the three fans there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire them all up and I'll show them in action and I'll explain exactly how this is supposed to fit in the window. There you go right there. It's all finished. I got it hooked up to the power supply getting ready to power it up for the first time. And of course with all these fans, well you just got two connectors like you got a positive and a negative. Just attach them all together and I'm just bringing it down to a couple of of studs like that. And these are just wing nuts. So here's the other conductors here. You know, I'll just I'll take the wing nuts off and uh, these would be the two power supplies that will go out towards the solar panels. But uh, that's the setup right there. And I just put a little bit of a loom, you know, and a screw in there just to hold everything there. Now remember, this is, this is what you're going to see on the inside of my cabin. And this is going to go right in the window. Now, I know that that's longer than what I need. So I figure I only need to about here, so I can just take cut it off on my table saw up north. But I'm going to explain exactly how this fits in here. So I'll show you a diagram uh, of the, well a picture of the outside of the cabin there. So let's take a look at the cabin. Okay, so if you take a look at that back of the cabin right there, you see the window. And you can see how it's got a screen on the outside. And you're going to be able to just fit this in the channel on the inside and then close the window up to it. So what you'll see on the on the inside is the three fans like you showed before and on the outside you'll see the opposite side and it'll just close in the track itself. Now there's going to be a lot more to this um, than just what you see right there. I have to put a couple things on the outside of the uh, window yet and uh, but let's start this thing up and I'll show you how powerful it is. Okay, you ready? Now I'm just going to turn the power supply on and uh, you'll see how much air this moves. Now each one of these is roughly 75 cubic feet per minute. So, you know, there's lots of air that's going to be put inside the cabin to reduce the amount of moisture. And I think this is a perfect way of doing it. Now I'm not showing all the solar panel setup and everything else because I did a... Uh, I set up on my, on my steel shed. I've got a steel shed in my backyard and I showed a video a long time ago about me putting just two of these fans in with one of my seven watt solar panels. And it's been running for way over a year, 24 hours a day uh, during sunlight hours. And it runs and it draws the air out of the uh, shed. It doesn't put air in, it just draws the air out. All the hot air because you know how hot it can get in a uh, in a steel shed during the uh, summertime and it's done a terrific job at lowering the amount of temperature in that steel shed so if you want I'll put a link down below and you can watch that video and I did a lot more testing and showed you know the uh, meter readings on how much these fans draw so I know I'm gonna put up three seven watt solar panels and uh, I'm sorry two seven watt solar panels and that will be more than enough to power these three fans. So whenever the sun is shining or even on a cloudy day, you'd be surprised on a cloudy day how well it'll turn these fans. Now it won't turn them at the fastest RPM, but it'll turn them enough just to bring, you know, like a good breeze of air in. So let's start it up here and uh, you let me know. I just put some, some uh, toilet paper on here. So let's see how it goes. I mean, just for a second, can you listen to that? Because they're almost completely silent. And I know that my bedroom is about uh, 20 feet away. The last thing I want to do is hear a whole bunch of noise. But even during the summertime, where I have that particular window on the back of the cabin, 
very rarely do I got any airflow through there anyways. I don't have any prevailing winds that, you know, pound it with rain or anything like that. So, I mean, this is, you know, that's quite a bit of air volume. So, even when I'm not there, you know, even in the summertime, I'll just leave that running summer and winter. Now, the only time I could see when I wouldn't be using that is when I'm up there in the winter time and, uh, you know, in the late fall when I'm using the wood stove because, you know what, you don't want to have this much air blowing in when you're trying to heat the place, right? <laughs> so, well, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you got something out of it. And, uh, you know, like these, these fans, I'll just show you the box here. So I buy them in a box of uh, five and that's the fans right there. Now, I've experimented quite a bit with a lot of different fans over time. And these are just fans that come out like for a computer, computer drives, you know, just the cool computer drives. And they're almost completely silent. So for me, I think it's terrific to use for ventilation. I used them in my steel shed to take the heat out. And they've been going like, they say 40,000 hours you can get out of a fan. So that's a lot of hours, right? And saying, you know, this here running up in my cabin all the time whenever the sun's shining and uh, you know they'll run for years and years and years so you know for the cost of this I mean it's very cheap and I'm hooking it up to two seven watt solar panels that are very cheap as well now there is going to be a second part to this where I'm going to show all of it installed and, and how I got it all hooked up and everything else so look for that you know coming up uh, this summer but uh, thanks for joining me here today and I think this is a fun little project that everybody could do so if you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe and watch some more unique products, you know, that I review in the future and review, you know, kind of experiments and, you know, stuff that you really don't see too often on YouTube. And something like this, you know, that a lot of people that have cottages could put in and let run all year round as well. These guys take care and come back again. Cheers.